Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video. So in today's video I am building in the world of Silver Dorada which is the world that we got with the Jungle Adventure game pack and I believe I've only actually ever built here and released a speed build here once and that was about a year and a half ago or it's, it's been a while I haven't built in this world in a really long time and I believe I've only ever done one build prior to this one in this world which shocks me because we've had it in the game we've had jungle adventure for a few years now and i just somehow haven't really built much here but if you've been watching my channel and my videos recently then you'll know that whenever i try and upload i'm trying to have a variety of the different worlds that are building so i don't want two or three weeks in a row i'll still be building in willow creek or i build in willow creek and then i build in newcrest because i feel like newcrest and willow creek are very similar style of houses i kind of want to have a variation of the worlds that i build in so one week i might build in oasis springs the next week i might build in forgotten hollow and so on and so forth so i decided that i wanted to actually build this in selva dorada now i did actually build this a little while ago my recording says that i recorded this on the 30th of september so i've had it in my game for a little while now and I had absolutely no idea that we was going to be getting an update with some new base game items to the game before I built this. And when I found out that we just got an update or we were just about to get an update and we and I saw what was going to be in the update, I was just kind of shaking my head because I should have just waited to build in Silver Dorada. But then again, I had no idea. I don't think anyone really knew that there was going to be a free update with some new items. But yeah, I <laughs> I was kind of frustrated with myself because there is actually a new object in the base game that we got with the update. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not going to try and sit here and remember what it's called, but it's kind of like a canopy. Is that even the right word? I don't even know, but it's something like that. And basically, I was trying to replicate exactly that object in this build when I was building it. And I had no idea that we was actually going to be getting it before this build actually came out. So when I actually saw it on Twitter, I was just kind of like shaking my head like, oh, I should have waited. But it is what it is. I actually did go back into my game today and actually add in some of the new items that we got with the base game update. Because they do fit so perfectly into the world of Silver Dorada. And I really wanted to include them. And so I did actually go back in and I did actually add a few of the items. But I tried to add the thing or the canopy kind of looking thing into the game because what you can see me doing now is actually what I was trying to create and I went to go and add it back in and it just didn't feel right maybe I was so used to the build with my own kind of made canopy kind of thing I don't even know if it's called a canopy I might be saying this completely wrong but I basically preferred the look of it with the one that I created to the one that we actually got with the base game and I just think because it has a lot of greenery on it whereas the one that we got with the actual base game update doesn't I feel like that's such a long way of explaining it but I did try and add it back in I felt like it didn't look right so in the end I actually just kept it as it was but at the very end of the build you will see me go in and add some new kind of pottery around and I do also add the new little barbecue item as well i think they're just exact the barbecue item i think is exactly the same as a normal barbecue or a normal grill i'm not too sure i haven't actually played the game in a little while now i can't actually remember the last time i played the game if i ever do play the game recently it's just play testing which by the way i haven't actually yet play tested this build but i will play test it before i release it to the gallery because that is frustrating when that happens i have I've been there, I've, I've downloaded a house of the gallery and you can't even access half the items. So I will play test this before I upload it to the gallery to make sure that everything is working. Hopefully it is all working because I feel like the way that all the furniture is laid out isn't really difficult. It's not like a snug little house. It's actually quite a big house or vacation house. And so I don't see that there should be any problems, but if there is, I'll remove them and I'll kind of change them and try and like rework around them before I do upload this to the gallery. Which by the way, if you do actually want to download this house off the gallery, my origin ID is JessicaPyeYT or you could just search for the hashtag JessicaPyeYT or just the hashtag JessicaPye either way and you'll find me on the gallery but anyway talking about the build a little bit as you see I did actually just go in and do the floor plan but the floor plan does kind of change a little bit by like a few squares here and there I just kind of maybe like extend the rooms because you'll see me in a moment actually extend the house out I felt like the left side of the house is really really small and it had these discover university windows and it just just looked a little bit too snug and so I do actually end up extending that bit out and then kind of altering the floor plan too much you don't see me actually alter the floor plan but it's not a massive deal like you can kind of see the main gist of the floor plan anyway but getting onto the actual house and how or the rental because this is actually a rental in Silver Dorado not a house but 
it's like a vacation house, vacation home, so kind of like a house. But anyway, this rental does have four bedrooms and I believe three bathrooms. I'm trying to picture the floor plan off the top of my head and I believe it is three bathrooms. Two of the bedrooms do actually have double beds in, so two rooms have double beds. One bedroom has a single bed and then there is another bedroom as well, which is kind of like the child's bedroom, which has another single bed and then a toddler bed as well. So it sleeps seven sims. You could have your whole entire sim family come here. I was thinking one of the bedrooms with the double bed could be a parent's bedroom. The other one could possibly be a teenager. Maybe you have a teenager in your game and they want to come on a vacation with their boyfriend or girlfriend. I kind of like the idea or maybe you want some grandparents and then there is also another room with a single bed which could just be for either a teenager or a child and then there is also kind of like the nursery that has the toddler bed in as well as a single bed and some toddler toys and children toys and so your toddlers and children don't get bored basically but it does sleep quite a lot of sims and when I was building this I really wanted to imagine a really like rich family would come here or rich several rich families come here maybe like the land grabs when they come on vacation this is where they like to go this is I believe the biggest residential lot in Silver Dorado or the biggest rental lot I think it's on a 30 by 30 I can't remember off the top of my head but I'm pretty sure this lot is a 30 by 30 if you are curious it'll be in the build de details in the description box down below by the time I've written that I would have found out the proper you know dimensions of the lot and stuff and it also will include all of the packs that I've put into this build as well but anyway, as you can see, the main structure of this house came together quite quickly. Now, I do want to mention, I did actually look at a picture on Pinterest, which was kind of like, originally it was kind of like my main inspiration for it, but I ended up basically replicating the image without even realizing I was replicating the image. So I do want to just mention that whenever I do build with a picture that I use for inspiration or something, I do like to mention it just so you guys know, but I did actually find a picture on Pinterest. If I can find it, I'll try and pop it up onto the screen now so you can kind of have an idea what I was looking at. But one thing that I really did like about this build in particular is this kind of little area that I'm building over here. Now I actually used the type of roof that we got with Island Living. It's kind of like a hay kind of roof. Sometimes I imagine them to be thatched roofs because I would love to have thatched roofs in the game. I just think a little cottage with a thatched roof would be just beautiful in The Sims 4. Hopefully we could get that one day, but for the meantime, that can kind of work as a thatched roof but I really wanted there to be a little kind of relaxation area in this build because it is quite pricey I don't actually know the price off the top of my head and I don't know how much it is to rent per day I imagine it's going to be quite a lot I'll have that again in the description box down below if you're curious but I really wanted there to be kind of like a massage area a spa area because I do imagine if your sims come here it's going to be quite expensive and they want to have the full-on luxury and so this little area I made it into a massage kind of a tent and I actually used the massage table or yeah massage table tables that we got from spa day and then i also just decorated it with these candle things they're like lights but they fit perfectly in between the columns so i was really really happy with that i was just a bit sad because i actually couldn't put them in, in any of the other columns because when you build on a diagonal things like objects don't click properly and they don't they're not sized correctly even though it's technically still two squares it just won't work properly but i mean i'm saying this because today i actually finished another build which all I've been doing recently, honestly, is building the Sims, but recently today I actually just finished a build which was built on a diagonal. That video should be coming very, very soon, maybe possibly next week, but we're not talking about that video. But yeah, building on a diagonal can sometimes be a massive pain in the bum because this the Sims doesn't really like you to build on diagonals. But anyway, talking about this build and not my upcoming builds, as you can see, outside this little massage area, I actually merged some of the columns that we got with Jungle Adventure. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually in the debug or if this is just in the normal build and buy. I can't remember if I actually had the cheat on at this point, but I just felt like it would be so nice for a little backdrop for this little bar and barbecue area, a little grill area. And so I used one of the walls and then two of the columns to kind of merge them in together. And then I also did find some kind of like vines, greenery just kind of like hang over the top of it it's a little bit overgrown but it kind of works as you can see there is a little bar area also i needed to use that fireplace that we got with this pack i just absolutely love that fireplace for jungle adventure i find it hard to put it in a lot of my regular builds but if i can ever get a chance to use it i'm going to use it because it's such a nice looking fireplace but there is also a little barbecue area and you actually see me at the end like i mentioned go back in and add some of the other items that we got with the new base game update even though the 
was already a grill there i really wanted to incorporate the new grill that we just got with the update and so this house or this rental technically does actually have two grills but maybe a big family comes here or maybe they're building not building maybe they're making food they're building food for the locals no then they're, they're maybe making food for locals or something like that having a massive party and they make, need two grills i don't know i just really wanted to include the new grill in this build but as you can see, I am now at landscaping. Landscaping this build took me quite a long time and I actually kept in the majority of it, if not all of it. I don't think I actually ended up cutting any of the landscaping out. But I really like, the thing that I like about building in new worlds every week or every every so that I can is using all the different plants and landscaping because if you use the landscape in Willow Creek, it's going to be completely different to the landscaping that you do in Oasis Springs or Forgotten Hollow. And you just kind of experiment with new landscaping ways like new plants and what goes together and i had a lot of fun landscaping this build there is a lot of landscaping in it but i don't know i feel like it just brings the whole house together you actually see me in a while as well i'm actually going to add some of the red flowers that we also got in this game pack i believe onto the wall and it just kind of brings the whole house together and I honestly think them ivory kind of flower they're not ivory the kind of red flowers that i use just kind of make the build and i absolutely love it but anyway i am just editing at this little area where i tried to create this kind of canopy thing i'm not even i'm still not sure if it's even called a canopy but you know what i'm talking about this little area over here i just wanted to kind of go back and refine it initially when i created it i knew that i wanted there to be like a little reading area maybe your sims if you have children or teenagers maybe if they have homework they can do it here or i just wanted there to be like a little quiet place in the build for your sims to sit down and read probably not going to be too quiet though because it's directly next to the pool but i still wanted to include it we're just going off the fact that that doesn't happen maybe the pool's really quiet all the time but i thinking about it i don't think i actually added any radios to the exterior of the house i don't think i did oh i, I can't actually remember now but anyway i am just going in now and adding some of these toddler kind of like fairy lights i love these lights i haven't used them in a really long time and i remember when we first got the toddler stuff pack i was obsessed with them and i would try and put them in every single one of my builds and i just felt like they would fit perfectly into this little reading nook but now i am just going back and i am kind of doing the walk up to the build now something that i find difficult is kind of trying to make the actual build and the rest of the world fit in together in terms of the floor tiles that I use or in terms of the terrain paint because a lot of the times if we get new worlds, for instance Glimmerbrook, we've got the beautiful world of Glimmerbrook and the terrain paint that's in the world and there's kind of like driveways leading up to houses in that world, we don't actually have the same terrain paint in the game, it's really infuriating and it's kind of difficult sometimes to try and connect the build to the rest of the world and so as you will see i've done this little kind of like pathway thing using the rest of the tiles that i've used around the exterior of the house and i just didn't feel like it was working and so in a bit i actually added in some of the columns that i use at the back of the build for kind of like the little bar barrier and i actually just place them in and size up an object and it just kind of makes the build look a little bit more fancier than it is because it's kind of like a grand entrance but I actually really really like it as you can see as well i am going in now with them red flowers and just adding them as soon as i added them i was just so happy with the overall build i mean i was happy with it over anyway but overall i just feel like it just brought the whole house in together and looked very silver doradery that's not a word but we're gonna go with it anyway but as you can see i am just doing a little bit more landscaping and now i am going back to the entrance of the build and adding them columns that i was talking about i am also going to add this object which your sims can actually buy at the marketplace i believe i don't think they can find it in the jungle i haven't played with jungle adventure in a little while but i know for sure that they can get in them at the market stalls in the actual town i actually just sized them up and put them on top and it kind of looked like a really nice pillar i feel like the pillars on their own sometimes can be a bit plain and so with them sizing up and just kind of move objects in it up it just kind of worked and it was a nice little entrance into this rental but anyway as you can see i've now finally moved on and i've actually started furnishing the inside of this build as always a flooring and wallpapering i did off camera but i will be able to tell you what each flooring and wallpaper is so the stone in this kind of like hallway area hallway slash dining area on the staircase is actually base game and then the rest of the wallpaper in this hallway slash dining room is also from jungle adventure as you can see i'm just doing this little pottery area as it was kind of like half hallway half dining room i wanted to include somewhere where your sims will keep all of their glasses and their pottery and you know all of their kind of kitchen or not kitchen they're like dinnerware if you if you must 
but as you can see I am just doing the little hallway area as your sims would walk in through the front door now the front door isn't this big grand front door it's actually quite a small little cute door but I just think it's it just kind of works especially as the front door is actually in the tower of the house I just really really like it as you can see I did also use the jungle adventure dining room table and chairs and matched it with a dining room not a dining room rug a jungle adventure rug which yeah we got from jungle adventure i'm getting my words mixed up here but anyway we move on um as you can see i'm just editing on top of this fireplace i'm trying to use some of the debug menu items so some fossils another one of the things i sized up on the exterior some kind of like what are they called metals no crystals and i think i also do add in this little statue of a horse as well but anyway i am just going to finish up this little dining room area and i'm going to shortly move on into the kitchen now for the kitchen i went with the real magic wallpaper and this jungle adventure tile the wallpaper and the tile go really really well together considering they're two completely different packs and i haven't used this room of magic wallpaper in this swatch yet and i just felt like it went really well with these counters and cabinets the ones that i use are from jungle adventure i feel like I was kind of I feel like I had to kind of use the jungle adventure counters in a jungle adventure build or kind of like a it's in the jungle adventure world so I kind of felt like I had to use these counters but I kind of wanted to use them one purely for the fact of this sink that actually comes in the collection the sink has got this really nice big backdrop behind the taps and I don't think I've ever actually used a swatch of this sink I've used it before but don't think in this swatch and I decided to go for a double kind of sink area it's quite a big fancy house and they probably have well I said they probably have they have two sinks because there's a lot of washing up because it sleeps a lot of sims but anyway as you can see I'm just going around and adding a few decorative items there is a coffee machine there's a microwave as there was a toddler in this house I wanted to make sure that there was a microwave for maybe like chicken nuggets or toddler food that is put into the microwave but thinking back to it I remembered just now that I didn't actually add a dining chair for the toddler or like a high chair so I might go in and add that before I upload it to the gallery but anyway as you can see I'm just doing this little hallway area now originally this hallway was actually going to lead into another bedroom but by the time I'd actually figured out all of the proper floor plans so this bedroom is going to be a bedroom and this one's going to be a bathroom and you know all the different kind of rooms I kind of realized that there was already a lot of sims being able to stay in this house and so I decided instead of to make it into a bedroom I'd make this room into the lounge room and the lounge room which well the room that was originally going to be the lounge room I decided to make it into a vacation gym I was going to say home gym but this is not really a home it's a vacation house so I made that area into a gym but in here I did use the same brick that I used in the hallway and then I also used the same wallpaper as well from Jungle Adventure in the hallway so basically it's a base game brick and then a jungle adventure wallpaper and I also did use the parenthood fireplace and then the jungle adventure armchair and sofas and then I believe the middle table is actually a base game table as well which we got in an update maybe a few years ago I really like this table and I felt like it went well with the furniture and kind of like the furniture style so you can kind of see I'm going in and clustering it up and then I also wanted to add these curtains that we've got with eco lifestyle I really like the swatches of them I haven't yet used them in a build and I just thought that was kind of interesting and as there was blue pillows on the sofa I just kind of felt like the the, the curtains and the pillows can match each other I just really liked the fact that they could kind of match in some kind of way but anyway as you can see this kind of like lounge living area it does have a tv as well as also this little kind of desk area in the back corner with a fireplace this is off memory the only computer in the house so as it was a vacation home i didn't want all the bedrooms to have their own computer and kind of like their own study space because when your sims come on vacation they're nine times out of ten not going to be working and so or kind of socializing as they're coming away on holiday so that is the only one computer in this house but hopefully you guys don't mind but anyway, now I am moving on and I'm starting furnishing it, the kind of rental gym. So I didn't really know what to do with this room when I initially planned for it to not be the lounge room anymore. And so I was kind of like, I'm going to know what I was going to do with it. And I felt like a home gym would maybe be a really good space for this. I put, put these two treadmills in front of the windows and they were kind of like the perfect placement. It just kind of looks like it fits into that little space. And then I did also add some more gym equipment a radio station a tv and i think i also added a mirror as well but as you can see i'm now moving on and i've started furnishing one of the bathrooms now i like i said at the start of this video i believe there is three bathrooms in this house 
going off memory, I can't actually remember, but this is actually the only bathroom that you actually see me furnish. The wallpaper is from, I believe, Get Together as well as the matching floor. I believe we did actually get them with the Get Together expansion pack. But yeah, I didn't include the footage of any of the other bathrooms just because it's very repetitive. One of the, or two of the bathrooms are literally copies of each other. And so I felt like it might be a bit boring and bathrooms are pretty much always the same anyway. It's always the same objects and items. But now moving on, I am now started furnishing one of the bedrooms upstairs. So this bedroom is actually what I imagined to be maybe for a child, but you could have just a teenager in here or maybe just an adult sim in here. There's not actually kind of toys as such, but there is a little desk area with the children's desk. There is a bookcase. There is also the wardrobe that we've got with Get Together as well. I didn't want to decorate these rooms too much as they are a rental. I actually mentioned it in my video, which I did a couple of weeks back. It was the lake house that I built. When I was furnishing them rooms or furnishing them rooms, and decorating them I didn't want to put too much clutter and too many decorations as it wasn't actually someone's house I feel like multiple sims families can come to this house and so I didn't want to just kind of style it to kind of one personality or one kind of life state and so there isn't too much decoration and clutter in all of the rooms but hopefully you guys don't mind but now I'm moving on to another bedroom so this is the bedroom that I imagine maybe teenagers like to stay in maybe you have two teenagers and they both stay in this room or maybe one teenager brings their partner on holiday or whatever you can maybe have grandparents stay in this room i just wanted there to be another room with a double bed now moving on i've started furnishing the nursery kind of children's room i really wanted the child or the toddler's bedroom especially to be in this little tower room because at the playhouse or play doll house fits so perfectly into the tower and it really looks so beautiful as well but in here, as you can see, I did just use a base game toddler bed and then one of the beds that we got from, I think it's Tiny Living. And I believe the wallpaper in here is actually from Jungle Adventure. But the same for the other bedrooms, thinking about it. And I believe the last bedroom as well, all the wallpaper is from Jungle Adventure. And the flooring is the Jungle Adventure flooring. But as you can see, I'm just clutching up this little bookcase with some toys and decorations. And now I'm moving on into the last bedroom in this house, which is the kind of parents' bedroom, I would assume, as it is the biggest. But in here, we do just use the Jungle Adventure bed. And then just a little bedside table. I don't believe I actually ended up adding two because I just didn't feel like two kind of looked right. But in here, as you can see, I did just go for this kind of a blue black and brown thing not really a color palette that i normally go for but i want you to kind of mix it up a bit and not kind of look at make it look like all of my other builds i do also add in a piano into this room or like a keyboard because i believe i originally wanted to go for the chess table but it just kind of didn't fit into the build and so i believe you do actually see me do that i think i kept that footage in but i do actually end up just deleting it and kind of reworking it into a little piano area I believe next to the piano as well, I might have put a mirror. I can't remember, like I said, I built this a little while ago, so I can't actually remember off the top of my head. But yeah, you would have seen, I did just add that little piano or that little keyboard there. And yeah, so I'm just going to go around the build now and add some more decorations. I'd add like a rug and a few more picture frames and posters. You will actually also see me move into the hallway as the last kind of room to decorate. And then I will shortly be going outside of the house and adding in the few extra items that we got with the base game. So as you can see here, I just added a little side table, nothing too extravagant. But anyway, as you can see, I've now moved back onto the outside. This is the part that I actually finished off the small in. I'm adding a little bit more landscaping. Then I also did add that new kind of a pottery kind of vase that we got in the base game update. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end this voice over here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this Selva Dorada mansion villa. I'm not even too sure what I'm going to title this video, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me build this and as always if you guys do like my content then please subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye guys!